Hey, Marcus. How are you doing today? Fine, whatever, man. How was your week since our last session? How'd that go at home? Nothing changed, man. I mean, Lonnie comes in every day, 5 a.m., 5 p.m. on the dot, drunk. I have to take care of him. I have to kick out, what, seven girls? Eight? From Steve? It was bad. But I even threw some baskets of fruit at me. I mean, she was, she so fruit at the fish market. Mom was barely home. She's working. Nothing's changed. Wow, it must be really hard for you to yeah. do that. It is. How was school this week with your classes? School, schools, man. I'm struggling. I'm barely getting by. I've never been the most book smart person. And I mean, the only class I'm really good in is history. Mm. History buff a bit, but I don't. Everything else is just bad, man. Yeah. Have you found any time this week to focus on you? No, I don't have time. I've got to make sure Steve's not going to die. I have to make sure, I mean, I have to make sure Lonnie's not going to have to make sure Steve's not going to die. So I have to make sure Steve doesn't get a girl pregnant. I mean, when do I have time to focus on me? see how you are struggling finding time for yourself. That must be really hard with having to take care of your brothers and trying to help out in the house. Does your aunt work every day? Yeah, she does. Mm. From 8 to 8. Wow. Every day. Is your uncle around to help out at all? I don't even talk about my uncle. Mm. Lying son of a He left my aunt when we moved in. I mean, you just saw one look at us, and he just left. Don't don't bring up my uncle, please. I can't. I I don't. I don't. I I need to be in the proper state of mind to take care of my family. If I start talking about my uncle, oh, it won't be good. Of course, we don't have to talk about your uncle. You're the one leading this session. You need to remember that, okay, Marcus? We go wherever you want to go. You're the one who told me to keep telling me to come back. I don't really want to come back, but you and my aunt are like, you better go, go back to these things, you know. And whatever. I think your aunt's concern is you and taking care of you. Even though it may not feel that way, that sounds like what it is. And she just wants what's best for you, from what I understand. My aunt's hoping, like, you know, the trickle-down effect. I mean, I learn stuff and I pass it on to my brothers, but it's not going to work, man. They're not like me at all. I can't teach them anything. I've never taught them anything. Now I'm telling them how to live their life, and they hate it. Lonnie's talked about running away so many times. To make sure he doesn't do that. Put a tracker on his phone. How does that make you feel when they say they want to do those things? The drink or partying or running away? It makes me mad, bro. I mean, I can't, I can't handle it. I mean, how, how can they just abandon my mother's legacy like that? I mean, it's not, it's not okay. Mm. It's, it's no good. Wow. <clears throat> it must be really hard for you. It is. It is. I know in our last session you talked about how drums was a good stress reliever for you. I'm guessing you haven't had an opportunity to play this week? I don't have drums to play on. I broke all of them. Mm. I mean, drums are expensive. I can't go out buy drums every week. Have you thought about, I know in our last session we talked about doing the band. Have you thought any more about that? How am I supposed to do the band if I don't have drums to play on? Well, the school will provide the drums for you. Well, I'll just break those in a week, too. I have to pay for the school's drums, too. There's no point. Do you think you break the drums because you're expressing your anger? Yes. I also express my emotion through music and instruments. I mean, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. 
That's how Lonnie used to do it through the theater, and Steve used to do it through basketball. That's how we all stayed together. That's how we were all good. We expressed our emotions through what we liked, and now everything's gone. Yeah. It's been hard when you don't have that support system anymore that you relied on. Are there any other outlets you use to express yourself besides the drums? Mm. No, not really. I mean, sometimes I read some history books. Mm. I mean, I like looking up all the news on smartphones. I was able to put a tracker on Lonnie's phone, but that's it. <coughs> so when you read, do you feel a lot of stress go away? I don't read to relieve stress, man. I read so I can properly, so I learn how to interact with my Brothers more, I learned how to, I mean, history, mistakes happen, mistakes repeat. If I learn what mistakes have been repeated in history, I can make sure I don't repeat them now, you know? Hmm. It's not, that's how, that's how I figured I'd do it. Are there any books that you like reading that don't involve history, aside from trying to take care of your brothers that you specifically enjoy? I don't have time. I don't know. I've never looked it up. Do you think that may be something that you may enjoy if you, aside from what's happening with your brothers, find time to do? What's the point? I mean, I don't, there's no point because I'm not going to be able to find time to do it anyways. Because once I start something, I want to finish it. And I, I, to me, it's bad if I start a book and don't finish it because I'm taking care of my brothers. So what's the point of even starting it? I won't be able to finish anything and that'll just... Stress me out even more, you know? Hmm. It's not good. No, it's not. It's really good. Have you thought about talking to your aunt any about what's going on with your brothers? About how that makes you feel? Have you expressed that to her? Yeah, well, I think I'm here. So the only reason I'm here is because I told her all this and she told me to go talk to you guys. So, she can't do anything because she's working. If she took a day off work, she'd get fired. And then we're going to be out all on the streets. I can't deal with that. I can't put that on her. It's not fair to her. It's not fair to us. Yeah. Only I can deal with my brothers. Do you have any other family that you talk to? No. Is your father in the picture at all? My dad left my mom as soon as Steve was born. He was like, I'm not about this family life. He just drove off. Mm. So I don't know where he is. I don't care. That must have been really hard on you mm. when he left. I was barely three. I don't remember it. Mm. I don't care. My mom was all we needed. Now she's dead. Are there any certain things you want to work on in this session to help process all of this and what's going on? I'm sorry, what? Is there anything you want to work on right now that you want to talk about? I mean, I don't think so unless you know how to stop going from getting drunk all the time. Is there a way to like start tie Lonnie to to the house so he doesn't go out and party every night? Cause Steve always looked up to Lonnie. If I can fix Lonnie, I think Steve would do. Steve would stop his bad habits as well. You just don't know how to stop Lonnie. Lonnie's always been that independent type, you know. Doesn't care what doesn't care about what anyone else says. That's why I was able to do theater. He got ridiculed for it. Ridiculed. Especially in the last neighborhood we lived in. All those were sports guys. The only person who stood up for him was Steve. Because no, Lonnie had to be that guy who just did theater. And he loved it. And I supported him. But this, I can't keep telling him to do this. And I can't 
but he's not going to listen to me because he does his own thing. So, not good. Are there any places that you go on the weekends that your family goes to, like church or anything like that? I go to church. I mean, then I make Lonnie go if he's not passed out. I make Steve go. That's like the one thing we all still do together. I mean, our mom, she loved going to church. And we loved going to church with her, too. So That's good. That's pretty much it. We don't even talk to each other. We don't do anything. We don't say anything when we're in the car. We just kind of go and come back. Is that to have your mother's legacy live on, like you talked about previously? I think that was the one thing my brothers really kept of her, you know? I mean, it started everything else about our family, but they kept church probably because we've just been doing it for so many years. Do you have a lot of friends at the church you go to? Not this one, no. Mm -mm. Not really. So are you going to the same church that you went to with your mother, or now are you going to a different church? We went to a different one. We all agreed that we couldn't go back there. Just too many memories of her, and it was painful. Hmm. Just wasn't good. Have you thought about getting involved in your church at all? I don't have time. Like I said, I gotta take care of my brothers. I mean, but what I'd if, like to, but <clears throat> what if it was during your church time? Like, for instance, you being in the band at church. Do they have like a band and instrument? They don't have drums. Hmm. Is there anything else you'd want to play? I don't know. I mean. Playing the piano kind of sounds cool, but... It does. We don't have the time to pay for piano lessons. I don't have the time to play piano. I won't have time to practice. If you had the opportunity to maybe learn from someone at your church to play and they could help you, Aside from the time factor, do you think that'd be something you'd want to do? Just you? I mean, as long as my brothers are still at church, I mean, I've got to keep an eye on them when we're not at church, you know? And it's got to be free. Yeah, we don't have the money to pay for it. We can barely put food on the table for all four of us, five of us. Hmm. Would that be something you'd like me to look into for you? About contacting your church? I mean, if you want to, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I doubt it will happen. People lie. Like I told you, people lie all the time. It's not good. Well, Marcus, you know, not everyone will like me. I think that's important for you to remember. I know you've had a lot of struggles so far with people not telling you the truth, such as the doctors with your mom. But some people, they'll be good to you. I don't know, man. I'll believe it when I see it. So how about we work on contacting the church? I will call them and see if they have an opportunity for you. I think that'd be something you'd like me to do for you. That'd be cool, man. But like I said, I mean, my brother's got to be at the church while I'm learning, and I don't want to take away from church time. So I can't, I can't not be there when my brothers aren't there. Well, maybe there'd be an opportunity for them as well. Might be willing to check that out to see if there's like a new theater or if there's like something you could do with that at the church or help out. I mean, that'd be cool, but I can't make them. They don't listen to me. So you would have to talk to them. I would have to talk to them. But that'd be cool. Okay. Well, we'll explore that. And maybe in the next session, I'll have an answer for you. Okay. 
And also, in the next session, would you like to do role playing at all about how to express to your brothers how you feel? No, I mean, uh, what's the point? I mean, they don't listen to me anyways. Why would they listen to how I feel? Well, maybe we can explore that in the next one about trying that. Does that sound good? Whatever you say, Doc. I'll see you next week, okay? Okay.